Hello and welcome back again to the Animal Channel. Today we will be speaking about your cousin. Your cousin? What? I thought you said it's Animal Channel. How come I was thinking about your cousin? Hey, don't ask that. Yes, because you will learn more about that later. And hey, before you sit down and watch this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to learn more about animals and if you know someone who is nuts with animals don't forget hey don't forget to share this video with him and don't forget to tell him not don't forget to tell him to subscribe all right thanks so much for joining us for today's big show today we'll be speaking about your cousin don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification if you don't want a gorilla in your bed tonight so today I'm speaking about your cousin, and not, not your uncle's son, but your animal cousin, which is a gorilla. How many of you know about that? First, let me give you some facts of my own. Actually, this was a picture I saw last night about a gorilla. Is this true? You say, is this true? Yes, and this is very true. A gorilla is stronger, it could fight a lion. If you, if you don't believe me, you see this photo for yourself. Uh, and I read it about I read up about gorillas, and they say a gorilla's bite force is stronger than a lion's bite force. I think a gorilla is, I forgot, is it 1300 psi, and they are 11, 1300 psi, or whatever psi. But I, all I know is a gorilla's psi is stronger. Bite force PSI is stronger than a, bite, a bear's bite force. That is something. But hey, a gorilla's teeth is nothing to me compared to my teeth. <laughs> a gorilla's teeth is nothing compared to my teeth. I could tell you that. Just kidding. So, anyway, if you ever wonder, what is a gorilla? Is a gorilla a King Kong? No, you are wrong if you think a gorilla is a king dog. They say the largest of the primate species, gorilla rank um, amongst the most recognized and the most endangered species in the world. Much of our cultural fascination with gorilla centers about how just how human they can seem. Gorillas can have a possible tongue and they can walk on two legs, their internal jaws, international a gorilla's lifespan can be up to 50, 60 years in captivity, though they tend to die younger in the wild. They even have impressive language skills. Wow, that is something. Anyway, down here. So, gorillas are very famous because a lot of great things they could do and kind of great animal stuff. Monkey in around, not that monkey in around. Gorilla at least do not monkey in around too much. Just how much your terrible tool does. <laughs> anyway, a gorilla called Coco could learn American Sign Language to our side from an early age. She could use over 1,000 signs and understand more than 2,000 spoken English words. Hey, um, I don't have time to show you all that video. Probably I will show you. Let me just go to the Let me just get there. She was so famous, she was even put up on 60 minutes of trip. So, uh, let me, oh, let me These are the customers you've been looking for. And when I'm not sure if you can hear my audio, but anyway, you can watch this video for yourself later. It is called Coco, the Talking Gorilla, 60 Minutes of Australia. She was so famous, she was even put up on 60 Minutes of Australia. So, later, just, um, probably I'll put this video in the description for you to watch. It is a, trust 
trust me, buddy, I watched it to the end. But so, uh, very sadly, she passed away in 2018, but she has a husband called Numi, who is still alive today in the Cincinnati Zoo. So that's all. But in 2016, the Ramas were dominating headlines again, but for the wrong reason. A 17-year-old Silverman gorilla named Harambe was shot in the Cincinnati Zoo after a three-year-old boy fell into an explosion. The incident instigated a huge amount of public debate and drew, and drew further media attention to the increasingly endangered species. And probably, I think, even from the one president spoke about it, not, I'm not even sure about that, but anyway, probably I could be wrong. And then again, this is from me. Gorillas made the headlines again. That was in 2020. What was that about? A gorilla got killed and someone sent to prison for 11 years. That's again another the wrong reason. And again, another wrong reason. Hey, a, COVID a gorilla got COVID-19. That was in 2021. I'm sure probably if you were on the news, you probably heard that. Well, I heard that myself too. A gorilla got COVID-19. What do you think about that? That is something funny. That's not funny, but that is something weird. Alright, so let's go to our first step of basic gorilla facts. How many of you are excited for that? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Gorillas are primates and other mammals that also includes monkeys, apes, tarsiers, and lemurs, and humans. Oh, maybe. Hmm, not so sure about that. In fact, they are considered the largest primates in the world. Yep, humans are in a primate, are in a primate group. Despite often being, in fact, they are considered the largest primates in the world. Despite often being referred to as monkeys, they are not monkeys. They are great apes. Amongst various other differences, monkeys have tails while apes do not. So people say a gorilla is a monkey, but there is a difference between a monkey and a great ape. Now, if you have a test in school and then the teacher asks people, what is a gorilla? Is he a great ape or a monkey? Better not answer a monkey. If not, you will get an F. And the gorilla will bite you. <laughs> so, monkeys have tails. The most difference is look for a tail on a gorilla. If you find a tail, then you know that. They are in the monkey's group, but actually they do not have that. Alright, now the second step is there are two gorilla species. But you say you heard there's like there are there are so many species like Western Lowland and um, Cross River and all those things. We'll talk about them later. So anyway, there are two gorilla species, Eastern and Western. The scientific name for Eastern Gorilla is Gorilla Beringe, and the scientific name for Western Gorilla is very easy, remember? Gorilla Gorilla. Funny. There are four gorilla subspecies, so this, yep, you got it. Western Lowland Gorilla and Cross River Gorilla are the subspecies for the Western Gorilla, so, but the sub-scientific name, the, I mean the scientific name for the Western Lowland is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla, <laughs> that's easy to remember, and Cross River Gorilla is Gorilla Gorilla Dehini. D D I don't know how you pronounce that, whatever. And the two western species, I mean, are the two western subspecies, and the eastern lowland gorilla and the mountain gorilla are the two eastern subspecies. Isn't that easy? So that and the eastern lowland scientific name is Gorilla Berengi Guari. I don't even know how you pronounce that one. And the mountain gorilla is called Gorilla Berengi Berengi. Yeah, hey, that's easy. Uh, they are the two eastern subspecies, and the western gorilla subspecies tend to be brownish gray, while eastern gorilla subspecies tend to be blacker. That is very true. If, if you um, may put up here, um, uh, western lowland gorilla. If you, um, let me zoom up, zoom up this picture for you, so you can see that I'm not faking you. It's true. Um, I think this is a new tab. Oh, it got so small. Anyway, you see, uh, do you see the tip here of his, on his head? His head is brown. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, or a bit like, uh, they call it the, I don't, I forget what you call it. Uh, a bit of mahogany color. 
but there's a real, actually a real color of that, but I used to color it mahogany. Uh, and, and if you look at the uh, let's say mountain gorilla. Um, uh, all right, let's, let's, I think I'll display the two differences at the same time. So, um, let me show you. All right, this is the one I like. This one. Yep, this is good. All right, this is big. So if you look here, there is a difference. This one, if you notice, um, actually they got mixed up a bit with the, the Eastern Lowland and the Western Lowland, but actually the Eastern Lowland looks a bit like now. But the, anyway, they got a bit mixed up, which is Eastern Lowland Gorilla and which is Western Lowland Gorilla. Anyway, so if you look here, Mountain Gorilla, look here, this is the Western Gorilla. Did you see the word Western Gorilla? Yeah, this is the Western Gorilla. If you notice, the, the Western Lowland, Western Gorilla, and the Cross River Gorilla have a little bit of brown on their head. But you, but you would say, but look, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla has a little bit of brown too. I think they are a bit mistaken because this is uh, an Eastern Lowland Gorilla does not look like that. Eastern Lowland Gorilla looks something like an Eastern Gorilla. But anyway, let me see, probably I can show you. Lowland? Yeah, something similar. I did a video, like kind of like a mini documentary about Eastern Lowlands. Uh, but I found a picture. Um, if you see that the Eastern Lowland, their heads are a little bit, a lot like mountain gorilla. So you, there's a difference between them. So if you notice, the Western family has a little bit of brown on their forehead, and the Mountain family, I mean the Eastern family, has hardly a lot too much brownish on their head. And they tend to be blacker. And but these Western, Western, the, the Western family are a bit um, lighter. But instead, they have more brown on their head. So you could tell the difference. You're starting to get something different, right? All right. After chimpanzees and bonobos, gorillas are the closest primates to humans or any animal, and uh, for that matter, in their in terms of their genetic makeup. Gorillas are very intelligent and often prove it with their ability to laugh, express sentiments, and convey emotions. Wow! Let me show you a picture of, of let me show you a video of a gorilla being tickled. And it's very funny. I laugh too. So I suppose I see you, okay? I show you. See? This is funny. Uh, that is very funny, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure you're still laughing. They're able to the laugh, express sadness, and convey other emotions. Gorillas are very smart. Gorillas can learn sign language, utilize rudimentary tools, and even make some on some of their own tools. Gorillas can even have unique fingerprints, hey, like humans and koalas. That is very They have unique fingerprints, just like humans. And these gorillas. Artistic. Um, they are know how to make their own tools. Hey, not a hammer. Nice try thinking about that. Maybe if you go to bed early tonight at Dreamland Avenue, you would never dream about that. Yeah, I don't know what where Dreamland Avenue is. All right. So anyhow, um, there are pictures showing that a gorilla made his own tool before crossing a river. Now he doesn't have a boat, so he didn't know how to make a boat because his his brain is not as smart as human brain. <coughs> so, but the gorilla, he knew how to make a stick. He took a stick and he measured it before he crossed the river. So that is very smart. So he knew how to, how high the river was. 
If it is over the stick, you just have probably not to cross it. Anyway, though gorilla size varies by species, both adult measure somewhere between four and six feet tall when standing on their hind legs. Gorilla weight also varies by sub by species. The smaller Western gorilla weighs 150 to 400 pounds, whereas the biggest gorilla, Eastern Lowland gorilla, can weigh up to 550 pounds in the wild. Wow, 100 to 150 to 400 pounds, and the Eastern Lowland is 500 pounds. And do you know what is 550 pounds? Ah, that is some probably heavier than you. Gorillas' arms are longer than their legs, which make it easier for them to walk on all fours. They usually walk on the knuckles of their hands, which is approximately referred to as knuckle walking. Though they are able of, they are capable of walking on two legs, they can only do so for short distances, up to about 10 feet. And hey, I know how to do knuckle walking. I can teach you next time. Let me show you. There is a very famous gorilla called Ambam. Um, bum gorilla walking upright. And he walks straight and tall like a man. That is very tough. That is I'm gonna show you. One of our closest cousins, a gorilla is always a fascinating sight for animal lovers. Humans share 95% of our DNA with these fellow great apes. Now, one gorilla's made the family resemblance even more obvious. Ambam, the silverbacks, learned to stand on his own two feet. Keepers at Port Lim Wild Animal Park in Kent think he may have picked up the skill from watching and copying them. Drawing himself up to his full height of six feet, 34 stone western lowland gorilla cuts an imposing figure. Now he's progressed from learning to balance on his hind legs to going on increasingly lengthy strolls. This clip of Ambam swaggering across his enclosure shows the extent to which he's mastered the art of walking. More than a quarter of a million people watched this footage after the wildlife park posted it on YouTube. The keepers are expecting a surge of visitors to the park as people flock. Check out this very rarely observed behavior for themselves. Wow. So do you see how he walks? There are more. Gorillas can learn to walk on their hind legs. Look. That was funny. Wow! This is a young student. 
still be back at 10 because. Yeah, look at that. Tonight, I mean, to <laughs> next time. Thank you so much. And subscribe and hit that bell notification if you have someone who is nuts about animals. Don't forget to hit this video and tell him that he better subscribe and hit the bell notification if he doesn't want to see a gorilla and spread the next one. Thank you so much.